In this video, we're going to install PyCharm on the Ubuntu 16.04 Long-Term Support Edition. What you want to do first is you can either choose to install it using the Ubuntu software package, but for this video what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Firefox browser, we're going to type in PyCharm, find the PyCharm website which is jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm, click on the downloads button here, make sure Linux is selected and then you could click on download but, I were, but what I recommend doing is coming down here to where it says on Ubuntu PyCharm is now available in Snap Package. If you are on Ubuntu 16.04 or later you can install PyCharm from the command line. So we can go ahead and copy this line and then we can open up our terminal and notice right here it says professional pipe PyCharm community edition that's usually what means or so if I paste this in and then go back just a little bit we want to go back to where the pipe is and we backspace and get rid of the brackets and then press enter it'll prompt us for our password add in the password, press enter, and now it'll go ahead and download the stable edition. Once it's installed, we should be able to go ahead and close out of our browser, and then come over here to search our computer and see if PyCharm has been installed. doesn't look like we have any matches. Now why is that? It says info waiting for restart. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and restart our computer. So go ahead, close out. Go up to the start. shut down and then restart once the computer has restarted go ahead and log in Now, sorry, give me a sec, I'm just waiting for everything to load up. We should be able to go into here and type PyCharm. And there it is, and PyCharm has started up, or actually been loaded. So, what you may want to do if you're going to be using PyCharm consistently is come over here, right click it, and say Lock to Launcher. Now, when it starts up, say Do Not Import Settings unless you have settings from a previous PyCharm installation. Click OK. Take your cursor, scroll it all the way down, and select Accept. You can send anonymous usage statistics to JetBrains if you'd like to help out with any errors you may encounter or software problems. I'm just going to click OK. Next, you can choose three different options for your themes. IntelliJ, Dracula, which is a dark theme, or GTK, and that's up to you. GTK is special for the Linux environment. You won't see that on Mac OS or Windows, but I'm going to keep it as IntelliJ, and then click Skip Remaining and Set Defaults button. You can go through the features later on once it's set up.
Once you see the welcome screen, go ahead, click Create New Project. It'll ask us to name a project. Let's go ahead and let's call this Hello. Click the Create button. Wait for it to load. You can go ahead and close the tip of the day. Um, you can uncheck it too if you don't want to see this again. Now, if you'd like, you can expand using the arrow right here to see what's in the project directory. Right click on the project directory and select File, New, Python File, or you can also come up here and select New as long as the project directory is selected and select Python File. I'm more of a fan of right clicking. So we have that. I'm going to type the word hello and you can add your extension in here like .py if you want to but there's no need because it'll do it for you. Now let's go ahead and let's write a print function add in double quotes or single quotes, either works, and type hello world. Now in Python we don't use semicolons, so don't worry about that. Next what you want to do is you can run the program one of two ways. You can either come up here to run or come up here to where it says run and say run and it'll give you an option to say what program is it you want to use. If you have hello.py selected it'll assume that one. Otherwise you can right click on your program and select run and then the program name. And we get this new output window that displays and says hello, or hello world. Now to actually see a change in it let's get rid of world, add a comma and type hello how are you with a question mark and now you can either run this again up here on the play button or you can run it down below and it will recompile for you and run again thanks for watching and now you have PyCharm running in your Linux Ubuntu environment